When implementing an RPM program, one critical decision is whether to lease or buy the patient monitoring devices. Frankly, it's safe to say there is no one right answer. But in this video, we're going to examine the pros and cons of both options so you can make the best decision for your practice. Hey there, this is Lauren from ThoroughCare. Here at ThoroughCare, we specialize in helping practices manage, build, and streamline care management programs like remote patient monitoring. Devices are an essential part of any successful RPM program. Deciding whether to lease or buy the device for your program is a big decision. This decision will largely depend on what makes sense for your practice, with the major factors to consider being your budget, the size of your program, and the goals of your remote patient monitoring program. Now, if you'd like to learn more about the billing codes associated with RPM and RPM devices before watching this video, you can learn more about that right here. Let's start by comparing leasing versus buying RPM devices. With leasing devices, you'll pay a monthly cost. This can range from about $20 to $30 per device per month. So this means that leasing an RPM device can be a lower upfront cost with less of a startup cost to implement the program. Leasing is also more flexible and allows you to update your devices more readily. This allows you to be more flexible to patient needs and conditions that need monitoring. Keep in mind that while leasing has a lower initial cost due to the ongoing monthly nature of leasing, you'll pay more in the long run. Also, be weary of long leasing contracts because they can limit your ability to be flexible with devices. We recommend avoiding lengthy leasing contracts. So what about buying RPM devices? The cost of purchasing RPM devices range from about $100 to $150 per device. In the long run, purchasing devices will be a cheaper overall cost. You'll save significantly more money over the life of your RPM program by purchasing. Purchasing devices also gives you total control, allowing you to update devices whenever you'd like. The obvious disadvantage of purchasing devices is you will have a higher upfront cost. So which option is best for you? If you can afford a higher upfront cost to save money in the long run, then buying may be right for you. If you're looking for faster implementation and lower upfront costs, then leasing may be the better choice. Some groups even start out by leasing devices and once the revenue from the program starts to come in, they may consider purchasing the remainder of the devices. The size of your program does play a big part in it as well, and it will relate back to costs. With a large scale program, the initial investment in purchasing RPM devices may seem daunting. But if you can focus on the big picture, the profits realized through purchasing devices for a large scale RPM program can be immense. Regardless of which option you choose, an RPM program will pay for itself quickly through reimbursements. So, if you'd like to learn more about RPM devices, we go into more detail about how to choose the best devices right here. Or, please visit ThoroughCare's Learning Center. There's links in the description below. If you're interested in how care coordination software can help you implement an RPM program, then contact us at the link below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And thanks for watching. We'll talk to you soon.